Say you want war, how you gon' be for you ain't got funds Better gain the whole click, my nigga lives in it Can't hang it to the flow, I know the shorty like that What's hell? Boys and girls, see we back with another video. Now we got Ronnie, old nail brother. This little dude done killed his daughter. He done killed his girlfriend. He tried to kill his disabled son. This nigga is, bro, he's crazy, bro. Like, he's a loose screw. Not right in the mind, brother. So I, bro, they shouldn't not know. Don't put this man in a, the cell with the inmates. I'm talking about regular inmates. This man, this man needs his own private cell, bro. Understand that. He's one of those, a Florida man. Yeah, he's from Florida. The brother is too hot out here now. I don't know what's going on in the brother head. It's obvious the brother not in his right state of mind, bro. You know what I'm saying? We about to check out this vet, bro. We about to see what they talking about, but man, yeah, the brother is down bad. Yeah, if you ask me, the brother need to, yeah, he need to go sit in that chair and get that needle, you hear me? It's just that motherfucking simple, gang. Now we about to tap on that, man. Y'all come on on the class, man. Let's see what they talking about. Convicted killer Ronnie O'Neill sentenced to three life sentences. Three life today sentences. Without That's the possibility tough. Possibility of parole for killing his girlfriend, his disabled daughter, and the attempted murder of his son. O'Neill grabbed the attention That's of the tough. nation with his antics in court during his murder trial, as he insisted on acting as his own attorney. Well, today O'Neill was shut down by the judge as he raised his voice in court. Nate Underside, Jeff Patterson joins us now live at the courthouse in Tampa. Jeff. Good evening. Judge Michelle Sisko told Ronnie O'Neill today the facts of this case are the worst she's ever... Right back at ya! Let's get it. Bench. And then Ronnie O'Neill had a chance to address the court today and he was not apologetic. Ronnie O'Neill sat in court today in a red jail uniform and listened to the family members of his victims tell the court how he's impacted their lives. What he done, a man would do, a coward would do. Kenyatta Barron's mother he told the court coward. she was not pleased with the jury's decision. I'm not pleased with what the, the, the verdict was, and I wish you could overturn it and give them what he's rightly due. O'Neill sat there, smiling and smirking, as Kenyatta Barron's sister spoke to him. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for your circumstances. Then O'Neill had one more chance to speak. I am not sorry for something I did do. And I am not sorry for the things I did. What the fuck? This so you mean to tell me he don't have no no heart like he don't have no type of heat that man sold this it's obvious he sold this you know what i'm saying how can you sit there and kill your girlfriend but not let not that but with this your fucking kids bro like they come that, that's something that come from you you feel me so you don't got no love for that this man this, this man don't got no love for nobody he probably don't got no love for his own mama you remember the pussy he came out of brother understand that so yeah man fuck giving this nigga a sentence or whatever they doing with this man brother he need that he need the needle brother yeah, he, 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 he need the needle. Understand that, he need that needle, you know what I mean? Ain't no going sit in no prison in no cell. No, you need that needle. You gotta get him out of here. Yeah, throw away the key. Throw away the key on him, man. Yeah, the brother is too hot on. He don't, like, he, bro, he is really crazy. He not showing no type of emotion or no type of feeling for when he's dead. Boy, your kid, your, your daughter, brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't, your girlfriend, that's your, but your daughter, your, your, something that come from you, bro. I just don't understand that shit, bro. This shit wild, man. This nigga throw it off, brother. Who's school? He throw it off for real, for real. As he started to raise his voice, Judge Michelle Sisko abruptly cut him off and demanded he lower his tone. This nigga throw it off. I will have you removed from this courtroom. Then the judge addressed O'Neill to pronounce sentence. This is the worst case I have ever seen. As far as the facts Telling O'Neill she had to fight to hold back tears during the trial. For the rest of my life, I'll be haunted by what I saw as far as the evidence. She then sentenced O'Neill to three life terms plus 60 years in prison for his crimes. All right, line man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. But it's obvious, bro. That man need help. That man need to go to a mental entity. He, he, he need mental help, bro. He got something wrong with his brain. He, he don't, his brain fucked up at this point, bro. Like, I don't understand that shit, man. Y'all drop down in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about the situation. 
for me, my honest opinion, how I feel, I think the brother should get the needle. Yeah, get it, get that boy the needle, get him out of here, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, you hear me? Cash is out of session, bro. Out of some double D, big titties on her shit. I know she really like that. Spin again, a whole click, let a nigga really cut them. Say you want war, how you gon' be for you ain't got funds? Spin again, a whole click, my nigga live in it. That chain hanging to the floor.